This Farm to Fork segment is sponsored by NetFM. There's no better place in the world to grow lettuce than Salinas Valley, and no one does it better than Jay Marquini Farms. We're here with Mark Marquini talking about radicchio. Mark, tell me about radicchio and the way that this is actually planted compared to other lettuces. Well, radicchio, we use transplanters, and we do that because of the germination of the seed. We want to make sure that when we plant the radicchio that we get 99% of the ground covered. So you can see here, uh, as the transplanter was going down the row, that every spot has a has a radicchio plant we even have a few people behind there putting in a putting in the plant there the other guys would just plant with the seed and they'd come through thinning but typically they get a better germination and uh yeah so you may spend more money up front to actually do this type of transplanting but there's other costs involved when like you said you're thinning if the lettuce comes from seed yeah we feel like this is the best way for us to get uh the most yield and the highest quality product with the radicchio it's a little more expensive but it we get we get on the other end when we ended up selling the product now radicchio is different a lot of people may not know or they think maybe that it's even purple lettuce this is a or a purple cabbage this is actually a purple lettuce and it was something that your grandfather decided I want to grow this. This is different than what most people do. Tell me that story a little bit. So that story started uh, about 25 years ago when uh, the kind of lettuce boom was taken off and uh, he started seeing radicchio pop up in New York and on the East Coast. And he's like, I could grow this. I saw my grandpa grow this, you know, my father grow this when uh, I was a kid. So he started in California and uh, ended up starting his first crop in the winter in Legrand and now here in Watsonville for all summer long he would buy the seed he was buying from Italy and yeah so I think I want to take this story just a little bit further though instead of just seeing these tractors and everything work even at one point this was coming out of the back of a truck and hauling it around the state because this dream he wanted to make happen and now you're at this level absolutely I mean if you look at this big field of radicchio here I mean that's that's accumulation of 25 years of radicchio growing I mean he started with literally a, a, a small area of this field picked it, put it in the back of his truck, took it to San Francisco for the first time to sell it, and, and uh, it just grew from there. So, Well, there's nothing bigger than the heart of a farmer, and Jay Marquini Farms, uh, they've got the biggest in the industry. For Farm to Fork, I'm Rich Kreps.